Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Kerry Gray here at the beautiful Joondalup Resort and in this video we're going to be talking all about the left arm, the idea that that needs to stay straight throughout the golf swing. I'm going to show you the correct way to do it and improve your ball striking as a result. Let's get into it. Now, in regards to the main concepts that most recreational golfers have about the golf swing is that the left arm for the right-hander needs to stay straight throughout. However, there's a lot of ways to do this correct, but also incorrect, and I'm gonna show you some of them in which you may be doing which might not just be helping your ball striking. But before we get into it, please go down below, click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you get notified of any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get into it. So, left arm here. Why does this need to stay straight? Well, in a simplistic fashion, essentially in the address position, my lead arm would be straight at address and the golf club would be an extension of that. All things being equal, the straighter I keep that left arm in the back swing, down swing, and follow through, that is going to give me more of a consistent arc, therefore encouraging more of a consistent strike. If I was to get my left arm, break it down, and swing through, I would miss the ball. So effectively, at some stage, I would then have to straighten it. So the concept of keeping your left arm straight is sound. However, when players try and do it, they usually do it through applying too much tension or poor technique, and actually has the adverse effect and breaks down as a result. So let's talk about that. Well, if I've got a straight left arm and I lock this out big time, what tends to happen is that's going to severely inhibit my ability to rotate in the backswing. You get this sort of look where players are focusing so much on keeping the left arm straight, they have no hinge in the golf swing. Now, effectively, what happens is they're going to get to a certain point, and this happens subconsciously, but then as they try and complete their swing, they can't turn because their left arm's so straight, so they end up breaking down their arms, and you can see all of a sudden we get very narrow. That's going to cause a lot of issues with your strike. The second common way that we see it is players at address locking both arms straight and they go, I need to keep this as wide as I possibly can. Once again, we might get a little bit more rotation than the other way, but effectively, once again, the arms get to a position and then they're gonna break down, causing some issues as well. So how do we do this correctly? Well, it's all about the right hand and the right arm. If we keep this straight, this is gonna complement that and stay straight throughout the golf swing. What we're looking for here is not just a straight left arm, but we're looking for straighter arms altogether. The combination of those two is gonna give us far more width throughout the golf swing. The wider our golf swing is, the more consistent it is. The narrower I am, the more inconsistent I am. So we wanna keep some width in the golf swing. And yes, the arms together, they're gonna to work in such a fashion to provide that width that we're looking for. So from the address position, if I start and I've got a straight left arm, my right arm is also going to be quite straight. Now, if I once again focus on keeping that left arm straight, there's a good chance that my right arm's going to break too much. And focusing specifically on this element here, we can see that it's starting to bend back into an awkward position. So what we're gonna focus on is keeping some width with this right hand by pushing away with the palm of that hand. So if I put my right hand on the golf grip, we will see that the palm of the right hand sits on top of the left thumb. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a bit of a preset drill. So from the address position, I'm going to preset my wrist hinge where my right wrist is going to move back in this fashion. And when I do so, it's going to place my right palm on top of my left thumb. So what we're doing is we're presetting the wrist hinge and you can see that my arms are staying structured. Now effectively from here in the golf swing, we don't wanna pull the arms around the body. What we're looking for is to simply rotate and turn the chest and that is going to encourage the arms to stay structured. Now doing a drill such as this, it is an exaggeration, it's gonna feel tight, it's gonna feel tense, but for those of you who are breaking down your arms a lot as you swing back, and especially the left arm, if that's something that you're focusing on, this little preset drill is gonna make a world of difference to creating that width that you're looking for. So from the address, we're gonna preset the wrist hinge, the right palm is on top of the left, and then we're gonna to turn to the top. Now when I do that, you can see how wide this distance is from my right hand to my shoulder, and once again, the lead arm is gonna stay straight. Now the advantages of doing this are also twofold. So from the down the line, as we do this exact same motion, 
preset, feeling that the right palm is pushing down on the left thumb and turning, we can see that the shaft is going to be on a more on plane or shallower position. If I was to break down the arms, all of a sudden this shaft is going to get more vertical and has a big follow on effect with more inconsistency when it comes to approaching the ball. So the width in the golf swing is a very important component and principle to apply to your motion so you can get some more consistency. So as a recap, from the address position to keep the left arm straight, I want you to preset your wrist hinge by getting your right wrist working back so you're applying pressure from the back of that right palm down onto the thumb and then from this position feel like you're keeping your arms in exactly the same structure as you turn to the top. Now in reality, yes this right arm will bend but it's certainly not going to over flex too much. My suggestion is when you start off doing this, do some slow conscious reps and just build the feeling up of making a turn without the arms folding too much. Even if you're just doing small swings, just to get the feeling of the club brushing the ground. Once you've done that, move into hitting some pitch shots. Grab a sand wedge or a pitching wedge and keep recreating that same motion of hinge, turn, and follow through. And the combination of those will start to give you a lot more width throughout the golf swing. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'm Kerry Gray. Please like and subscribe, comment below if you've got any questions. But until next time, thanks for watching.